Hey, what about the tornado watch? You about that? We have a tornado watch? No way. What's up, guys? We are here at Road Atlanta. I'm just glad there is no rain at the moment. Hopefully it stays true. Uh, there's still a percentage coming in, but I think we'll be all right. It's, uh, there's just massive amounts of pollen destroying my face and sinuses right now, but practice about to start, and uh, let's hit it. Oh, thank you. This will put me right to sleep. <laughs> My favorite thing about Road Atlanta, I'd say the fans for sure, and uh, track, how technical it is. It's one of the longer tracks we have. The asphalt is really nice. Long downhill first turn entry. I uh, keep going. I know you asked for one, but I keep oh, yeah. going about my favorites. Yeah, I like it. The, um, the uphill blind crest to our outside zone two, that's really difficult. And then coming into an off-camera keyhole, and then transitioning back out, grabbing up a gear, and then just flooring that sucker uh, right to the finish line. It's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna say it's lazy. <laughs> yeah, but it is. Ryan Turk getting sent down the hill. Congratulations to him and his lovely wife Shannon, their brand new baby boy. Here we go. Ryan Turk initiating into that first front flip. Dialing in. Nice, easy, clean line approach. Now coming, powering up the hill. Nice job that first outside zone. This is that tricky second outside zone that Ryan was talking about. Now going to slow down the RPMs, get right there on that inside flip. Now remember, that is not a flip exiting out of a horseshoe. Now that touch and go, boom, hits it exactly spot on. Use all the core. I mean, Ryan, what a great way to start qualifying. That was absolutely textbook. And there it is, an 87, an 87. All right, so what about qualifying? What about this drifting thing? Yeah, um, well, it's always a bummer when your qualifying lap is not the best lap that you had of the day, right? Because you want to always constantly build. Wow, and Captain that's, Obvious and here. That's what happened to me. So I've, I, had, I had some really good lead laps today uh, during practice, and then I just didn't put it down in qualifying. You know, you only get that one lap, and uh, I, just got, I just got tight. Got a little tight out there and tired. So we'll, uh, we got a new car though. The car, the car feels awesome, and uh, just gotta loosen up, get ready for some tandem action tomorrow. Yeah, we were here, and that was the same thing. Yeah, for half hours after work. Yeah. Second to last battle to go, I think. So, it's like bottom hours, right man. side, we're just chilling, eating snacks, watching the live stream. I'm gonna do a little jog to get my body moving. Uh, the battles before ours. Let's check out our current points leader, Ryan Turk, that Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla Nitto tires. Into that first inside flip. Airs it out, Stuky Gets a little left behind here, he's gonna need to run him up. Now into that second outside zone, goes Ryan Turk, Stuky taking a way shallower line. You see Stuky dialing it back. Speaking of rain, Ryan Turk's making it rain. Smoke coming off the back of his car. Here we go, Daniel Stuky. S chassis coming into that first inside flip. So there you go. You see that proximity there, Ryan. Had to kind of pedal back. Now Stuky into that second outside zone. Comes up just a bit short. But Ryan Turk, you can see, keeping the composure. Is your current points leader moving on? And yes, he is. Ryan Turk and the Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla advances on. Debuting that all-new Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla on Nitto Tires. 
Make some noise for your current point leader, Ryan Turk! Remember that chase car can leave before the lights are extinguished. Here comes Ryan Turk, that Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla. Initiating into that first front clip. Whoa, Fetty dives in real quickly, but backs off. Ryan Turk, wow, look at that. Just works his way up there so easily. And then Fetty dives in on that front clip, exiting out of the horseshoe. Oh, kind of a wide swing there for Ryan Turk. Federico keeps his composure as Fetty comes across. So, yeah, I mean, Federico really hanging with our current points leader. Ryan Turk in the chase position. And remember, Ryan Turk had an amazing lead run, but now in the chase position, how's he going to handle it? Doesn't mimic all the angle that Fetty has now coming past that front clip up the hill. So you can see that D-cell indicator going off. Ryan Turk tries to stick it to the side of that big Ferrari, that hot little hatchback. Barely navigates him, lets him go past him. Ryan Turk gets the win. It's going in, baby. <laughs> I think we're going to throw a tune up on it and see what we can put uh, put uh, Freddie in the trailer. Backing up, backing up. <laughs> Let's get going. He's, uh, he's, he's running super strong, so he's, he's going to be really tough to beat. So uh, we're going we're gonna to throw in a setup, and uh, if I can wheel it, we might come out on top. Here comes Freddy. The Norwegian Hammer initiates good flick into that front clip. Ryan Turk drops into formation. Both of them lifting off those Nitto tires. It's a Nitto tire battle coming into that second outside zone. Freddy actually doesn't get all the way out to that second outside zone. Now transitioning down. Looks like Turk backs off a little bit coming out of the horseshoe. And then Osbo hammers down. Ryan Turk out front, Rainex, Toyota GR Corolla, Frederick Osbo initiates right into that first front clip. Smashing that front grill of that GR Corolla. Continues on through the course into the first outside zone. Here comes Ryan Turk, gets all the way out there. Dips that Nitto tire into it. Now let's see how he handles it coming out of the horseshoe. Into that touch and go goes Ryan Turk, now transitioning back. Almost drops a tie. Looked like he didn't throw up dirt, but he did get onto that rumble strip. There are two Toyotas, and only one can move on, and that is Frederick Osbo. Osbo gets the win and advances on. So our current points leader shaken up by the former champ.